Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the, uh, the new Russell Center. I'm wearing my uh, Rise Above Hate John Cena sweatshirt that I uh, picked up at my Hot Topic sale after I'm wearing that to work because it's starting getting uh, cold here at night uh, when I uh, leave work in uh, Sacramento. I got three pickups uh, to show you guys that, uh, that came in um, the last couple of days. Uh, this one is... Uh, kind of a big one. It's uh, the two uh, two last DVDs. No! No! Damn you, Best Buy. Um, I picked up the uh, the last of the... Um, it even says it on the receipt. Uh, the last two Superstar series uh, from uh, uh, WWE. Hopefully they are the last ones because uh, they honestly haven't been that good. They're honestly worth the money because you're only paying like six bucks a pop for them. But uh, uh, it's supposed to be Shawn Michaels and Rey Mysterio for the last two. But they sent me two Shawn Michaelses. Uh, the receipt says it's supposed to be a Rey Mysterio and a Shawn Michaels. I guess I'll just hold on to it the next time I go into Best Buy. Um, I guess for the uh, Brock Lesnar next Tuesday, which I thought was going to be today. Uh, luckily, uh, my buddy Zach stopped me from uh, driving down there. Um, but, two Shawn Michaelses, uh, I can't tell you what's on the Rey Mysterio one, but the Shawn Michaels one has, uh, Michaels versus, uh, Chris Jericho from, uh, Judgment Day 08, DX vs. Legacy, SummerSlam 09, the big tank, uh, Michaels versus Tank, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Michaels versus Raw, No DQ from Raw 2010, I have no idea about that match, don't remember that at all, um, and then, we, well, the only thing I can think of is that is, uh, on the way to WrestleMania, so it probably has something to do with the uh, build-up to the uh, um, Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker uh, WrestleMania uh, match from uh, 2010, his retirement match. Um, but Best Buy, you screwed me. You got two of them. I've always told you uh, that I've never been ashamed or anything to tell people that I am a wrestling fan, that uh, I basically tell everybody I work with, this worked out for me. Uh, well, this is the second time it's worked out with me. Another guy at work gave me a whole bunch of his old wrestling magazines that he found in his room that he was cleaning up. Uh, this, my buddy was at uh, Marshall's, which is like Ross. If you don't know what Marshall's or Ross is, I guess you're out of luck. Uh, but he was walking around and he found this for $8. Uh, him and his girlfriend laughed so hard about it that they picked it up. And I'm glad because I've never had one of these in my life. I've always wanted one. I remember when I was a kid. Actually, me and Freaking I.A.E. have talked about this many times. He's had one, and uh, he lost it, and he wants to get another one. But the Hulkamania playset. Uh, I don't care that it's Hulkamania, but basically I've just always wanted a wrestling ring uh, for my figures. This one comes with a uh, Hulk Hogan figure and a Sting figure uh, from good old TNA. Can't wait to put the ring together and uh, have some old school matches with the uh, good old um, old school figures. Uh, everybody's seen that I've picked up a whole bunch of those. They're some of my favorite ones, and hopefully they'll look good in there. But there's the, uh, the Macho Man. There's the classic Macho Man. And here's the Hulk Rules Hulk Hogan. These are my favorite, uh, figures of all time. Hasbro's. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, make sure you go check out my, uh, Craigslist Confidential. The time that I went and I bought, like, a hundred of these one time off of, uh, Craigslist. They didn't even go to buy. I went to buy Wrestling Buddies, and the guy sold me those, too. So, last thing. This came in a couple days ago, but I didn't want to make it to its own video on it. I came, uh, I did my uh, deal that I do with um, Amazon, where like, I buy something that's like, uh, you know, $21 or $22. And I find something else to go along with it that gets me a title over $25, which gives me free shipping. Uh, which basically gets me the DVD uh, for free. Uh, for this one, I got a, a TNA Wrestling Twin Pack uh, from 2011. If it's from 2011, I'm guessing you know which one I got. I basically wanted to see how bad uh, this really was. Uh, for memory, Victory Road 2011, home of the Sting versus Jeff Hardy match. Um... It doesn't get any worse than that, and uh, people have called this the worst pay-per-view of all time. It also comes with uh, Against All Odds 2011, home of the uh, TNA uh, world title match with uh, Mr. Anderson and Jeff Hardy on a ladder. Um, it's also got a breakup of the uh, 
Uh, Dudley Boys on here for you. Rob Van Dam versus Matt Hardy. That might have been his debut match. Matt Hardy's debut uh, in the program or in in TNA it didn't last that long. Um, nothing else on here really really stands out. You got a beer money match on uh, both shows. Both of them against people that don't really matter though. And um, Mr. Anderson versus Rob Van Dam. Maybe that might be all right. But there you go. Put that in the TNA uh, thing. If you ever wondered about the TNA Twin Packs, because I had never bought one, um, they come like that. One DVD on one side, one on the other, no insert. So, uh, can't go wrong. Cheap price, $5. Two pay-per-views, good times. Hey, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Tuesday's over. Why did, uh, oh, why did the uh, tag title match for the Hell in the Cell, why did that get, uh, you know, a whole episode of Raw, basically, pretty much? About 45 minutes of action. That's what I'm thinking about today.